Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm wearing my white top again because today I'm going to my first show jumping show of the year. It's all really coming at once, isn't it? I went to my last dress up, well, I went to my first dress up show last weekend, which was not last weekend, sorry, Bank Holiday Monday, and today we're on Sunday. Just a quick one. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments and support on that video. Um, via Instagram, on DMs, via YouTube in the comments, via messages. Like, I just was so blown away with all your lovely, lovely supportive comments. Um, it was such a surreal day. Um, and uh, following that uh, event, I thought to myself, um, right, well, let's go, you know, speak to a few other um, riders that I follow on Instagram that are at sort of a similar level to me and see what they do and how much fun they have and what I should sort of consider sorry my phone's tilting what I should consider next with Vossi so I've gone and got myself a British dressage club membership um I'm gonna like copy an image here of what that includes so basically it means I can do um the quest championships the compete in the prelim bronze qualifier classes um which is really exciting i'm now also part of a riding club i'm also part of area six so i can compete um i can compete representing my area um this is all things that i've never ever done before so i'm really kind of intrigued to now know that i have something to work towards i can now look at i know what i'm looking out for in um diaries uh at events and what I can and can't compete in whereas before I've sort of just willy-nilly gone to any random show that's on last minute uh, there's never sort of any been any structure with my uh, horse horse side of things to be perfectly honest with you which is fine because you know this is a fun hobby for me and you know as soon as you start putting pressure and having structure I find that then starts making it a little bit more serious which then I find takes the fun away a little bit but Anyway, blabbering on. Today I'm going to my first show jumping show of 2023. Can I just say, first of all, my number is 13. Second of all, when I used to feel prepped and Vossi tended to do well, it's tended even a word, when Vossi did well in the past, it would have been based on the fact that we would have done at least one intense show jumping training session that week um it's fair to say the last time I did a intense training session was when I went to my very far marina hire and fell off so to be perfectly honest with you I have zero expectations of today but I'm going to bring you guys along anyway I'm kind of in the mind frame of if I go in the 70 and he just doesn't want to do it I'm literally leaving the showground and just going straight home because there's no point kicking up a fuss. There's no point trying for the 80 because I've been there and done that a few times where he's decided not to do it in the 70 and then in the 80 he's done the exact same thing. And I'm like, well, you know, it kind of just says like if he's not in the mood for it, he's not in the mood for it. And, you know, this kind of sounds crazy. And a lot of you will be like, oh, la, 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 having all your opinions on it. Try this karma. Try that karma. Do this. Do that. Ugh. This is why I've put off show jumping for so long. But if you missed my video last week, I was saying that I'm doing this because my one day event that is on the 7th of October, coming up very quickly now, is actually at the venue that I'm jumping at today. Vossi and I have never been there today. So never been there. So today I'm taking him there purely to show him what the jumps are like. If he jumps around, it's amazing. So you'll see all the jumps for the one day event. If he doesn't, then I'm just going to be a bit like, well, you know what? I've gone out for a day. I've had a ride in the warm up. Again, it's only 20 minutes down the road. So it's not going to be an issue for me in terms of transporting him there and back because it's literally down the road. So I'm taking it really easy. Uh, I'm not putting pressure on myself. My mum's not coming with me today. I find mum is like an, a bit of an additional stress for me when I have her around. It just makes things worse for me. My feelings of stress get worse. I was meant to be going with my friend Ash, who came with me last time uh, for dressage. She was meant to be kind of helping me with jumping, but now she's decided to compete. So I do literally feel like this is the first time I'm ever going out without um, someone there to kind of help. Um, of course, Ash will probably be able to help out here and there a little bit in between when she's sorting out her horse. But you know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to be here by myself, doing things myself, warming up myself, going into the arena by myself. So... 
I'm I'm just taking it step by step. I feel quite stressed about it, which you can probably gather. But yeah, I'm just taking it as it comes, not putting any pressure on myself today. I'm just seeing it as another day out with Vossi. Um and we'll see how we get on. So I've just arrived at the yard. It is seven o'clock. I can tell Vossi is right behind my camera. He's staring right at me because he knows my car now. He's had his breakfast. Um, we're not setting off until half ten, so I want to chuck him out in the field so he's got a couple of hours to just graze, and then I'll bring him back in. We can get him all sorted uh for the show. Thankfully, you know, show jumping down to plat or anything like that. So it will be a case of bring him in. And then probably just load up and go. So I'm going to try and do all my jobs beforehand. Like soak my hay nets, muck out, um, tidy him up, etc, etc. So without further ado, I'm now going to get on and uh, sort Mr Vossi out. And then we can see what happens today. <laughs> oh God, this is also a very telling factor of if I will probably ever compete jumping ever again after today. I haven't jumped all year because I don't like jumping and I don't like competing. Um, but I'm so hyped about possibly doing my first ever one day event. This is why I'm doing the jumping side of it. If it doesn't go well today, I probably will have to also sack off the one day event as well. And a lot of you are probably like, no, don't base it off one bad, bad jumping session. And I get that. We'll see how I feel. But yeah, let's go sort of see out and then we can um, and then we can go from there. How do you know Vossi's had his breakfast? Well, he leaves a massive grubby face stain on a white saddle pad that was left out to dry overnight. Hey, poo face, let's clean you up and turn you out. Yes, okay. Well, Voss was rather gross this morning, so it's safe to say he's had a little bit of a polish and a wipe down, uh, but now he's all clean. I'm gonna pop his, um, his sheet on to go out in the field just so he doesn't roll and get filthy um and then he can go out for a couple of hours while i do all the jobs muck out do you want a treat he wants a treat you want a treat there we go good boy so Vossi is out he's got his fly mask on and i've put the sheet on just because as i said if he rolls i don't want him getting caked in mud he's only going out for an hour and a bit before i bring him in again but i just thought it'd be nice for him to because we both get so stressed with show jumping i thought it'd be nice for him to have his normal routine a bit in the morning uh before bringing him in a bit later so now i'm going to get on with all the jobs so i have packed the car up i've marked out i have just brought vossi in from the field he was out for about two and a half hours just to graze just to keep his routine as normal as possible uh, and also i was able to hitch up the trailer and hide it behind the wall because usually if i tie him there and then hitch up the trailer and park it there it really stresses him out because he knows something's going on but as you can tell he is very very chilled that's what we like I've actually just given him a calming cookie as well and I'll probably give him another one when we get there as well. Can we just appreciate the shine on that coat? It's 100% down to him moving over to Bailey's horse feeds. He's on the low cow balancer and I also have him on the light chaff. Uh, and since he's been on that, he has just, his condition has just totally transformed for the better. I've never seen him in such good condition. And that shiny coat has been something I've always struggled to get with him. So, um, yes. Now just letting him have a little nibble and uh, I'll probably load him up in the next sort of five, 10 minutes and we can head off. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, I feel incredibly sick. Right guys, Vossi's loaded, car's packed. Ash is also loaded and she is in front with her box. So we are already a um, little bit of a, little bit of a faff, a little bit of stress this morning because basically the route to the equestrian centre we're going to, the direction Satnav is taking us is actually through a width restriction. Honestly, if there's one word I don't want to hear when I'm towing, it's width restriction. You do not want to hit one of them. The trailer won't go through it. So we've basically had to work out a route because people at the yard have very kindly warned us that there is a width restriction. If you follow the Satnav, we've just had to quickly work out a route on how to get there, avoiding the width restriction. So yeah bit of a stress not gonna lie but we are off now so i will catch you guys when we are at the show
So we're fast forwarding to the warm up. Guys, when I say we arrived at half past 11, I finished tacking up and lent the course and I was on at 10 to 12. I've never been so rushed in my life. That being said, though, they were really kind at the show and they did give me a good 10, 15 minutes to warm in. So Voss had a really nice, relaxed warm in. So um, I'm just popping him up over across a couple of times. Then, as you can see here, he just had his other little moment of excitement afterwards. Uh, and after the fence, I was like, no, honey, you're not having me off again. So um, just made sure I sat up and just had the contact and didn't, you know, give in. So the fence went up to an upright and he jumped it really nicely. And, you know, I've never had issues with the warm ups. He's always been consistently brilliant in warm ups and felt really good, really relaxed and jumped everything really well. So um, I'm just changing the rain and um, popping him up into a canter in a minute, I think. Yes, uh, and just coming over this oxer that's up here as well. This warm up was quite small, I can't lie. Um, and it was quite deep in places as well. So I didn't really want to do that much with him. Uh, and he did feel great anyway. So I just popped him over the oxer a couple of times. And then I think after this, I was like, yeah, he feels ready to go into the class. So just brought him up over again. And I was happy with that. His little back air movements as always. And then the fun began. We got straight through the gate and I just knew straight away he was going to have none of it. As soon as we got in through the gate, he just backed off my leg. He was having none of it. He was like, nope, I'm not playing ball. And let's be honest, this is not the first, the second, third, the fourth, the fifth time. I've been in this scenario with Vossi and I know that if he doesn't want to do it, he's not going to do it. But actually, they were so kind at the show that I was at and they were really patient with me. And, you know, by being patient and allowing me like three to four minutes to kind of try everything in the book, as in, you know, first of all, I started, you know, using my leg, keeping a contact, trying to push him forward. I then sort of changed up my tactics, just totally let go of the reins, gave him a stroke and was like, come on, let's just go for a walk around the arena like it was an arena hire. And then the second I sort of got contact again, he was just saying no again. He was like, nope, not having any of it. Um... So at this point, it was just very frustrating. And it's even worse when there's lots of people watching. This is why I hate shows, because if it goes wrong, I've got loads of people watching and it just adds to the pressure of me feeling awful. Um, so I just kept trying to get him forward. Honestly, at this point, I'm just like, come on, Vossi, this is so embarrassing. And I could just sense everyone was just getting really annoyed with me taking up time in the arena. Because, of course, there's riders after me as well that want to get on with their rounds and I'm just thinking to myself just keep going until that bell goes and I get eliminated I'm just going to keep trying to push and they were so so generous giving me all this time and you know this isn't all the clips um my friend who was filming didn't film half of it because it was just the same thing just doing the same thing over again what you see here is just all he was doing for about five minutes so um, I managed to finally get him into a walk. And the second I felt him go from walk to canter, I was like, yes, keep him going, Charlotte, keep him going. He sort of gave in. Um, and I managed to get him over fence one, which I was totally chuffed about. And he was, you know, throwing his usual shapes afterwards. Um, got him around to fence two and I was like, OK, fine, we've got this. Yes, let's keep him going. Um, and unfortunately, he just got to that corner again that he was playing around with at the beginning when I first got him into the school and he was having none of it. And at this point, the bell went, which I totally understand. And I got uh, eliminated. So after I was eliminated, I was like, OK, now I need to try and figure out how to get him out of the ring. So, yeah, a bit of a disaster. Well, that was uh, eventful. Um, it was a mad rush because... I was on at 10 to 12 and we literally arrived at half past 11. I didn't know the course, so I had to learn the course. I had to tack up Vossi. Um, I had to warm him in and then I had to go into the ring. And straight away, as soon as I went through the gate, he just literally dug his feet in. And I was like, great, this is what we're going to be dealing with. Thankfully, the show were actually so kind and let me have a good two, three minutes to actually play around with his naughtiness. Like, let my reins loose, let my feet out, take a contact, kick him on, let go of the contact, see if he'd go on with that, walk him in different directions, all that palaver that I have to do to try and get him to actually move. Um, and eventually I got him down to almost by fence one and I actually managed to get him into a canter and he sort of gave in and then I did fence one and two and then as soon as we went back up by the warm-up ring, he just literally dug his feet in again and just started... Well, I, I want to say, I don't really want to say it's a nap, but he was almost like napping away from fence three and just dug his feet in like he did at the beginning. So 
this for me is just a reminder that show jumping is not for us you know i couldn't sleep properly last night i felt sick to my stomach for the last week i felt awful with stress nerves and anxiety this morning and you know i don't like that i don't like that it's horrible why do i do that to myself to prove what i did say i wanted to do some eventing because i love the cross country side of things and when he jumps and does cross country it feels epic because he has got the capability that like that's not the question here the question is just his attitude that's obviously a huge issue and a hold back for me so honestly from today i am officially hanging up my boots i'm hanging up the, the jumping side of things i may still jump at arena hires but honestly from what i've learned whilst having him if you're not jumping him consistently in a solid jumping training session once a week he's not going to jump at a competition and I don't want to jump him once a week. I don't want to jump once a week in an intense training session. And I think that said in itself just means it's just not right for us to even think about competing. There are horses out there that, you know, you don't have to jump for a month and you can literally take them straight to a competition and they'll go and win. Uh, unfortunately, Vossi's not that kind of horse. He needs someone that's going to jump him once a week, keep him at it, train hard with him and take him out and compete exactly how the training session went. But of course, I haven't had a training lesson for God knows how many months now due to loads of different reasons. I usually go to Berry Farm and have a lesson there with Stuart. But for the last few months, it just hasn't worked out in terms of timing. I've been on holiday or... Um, just something's cropped up to prevent it from happening and funnily enough i've actually got my next stewart lesson at very farm in the next couple of weeks and do i think it'll be helpful sorry i'm dying of sweat over here it's really hot um do i think it's helpful well to be honest with you i fell off at very farm outdoor arena do i want to go back and have a jump lesson when i know i don't want to compete jumping anymore probably not so um yeah that's where it stands at the moment and to be honest with you i feel rubbish i feel really rubbish and to be honest with you i'd probably be in balls of tears right now if it wasn't for how well i did at dressage last week because that's given me some hope that i will be able to achieve something with Vossi. um you know i've been very patient for the last three years because i understand it takes time to build a partnership it takes time to understand a horse but i feel like i'm definitely beyond that point of understanding Vossi now and i just think you know with the jumping side of things i just don't want to continue with it yes it's blown out my whole dream of being able to event him as well does that bother me too much not really um not really uh, i think we're just going to stick to the dressage and see how we get on there and to be honest with you i kind of feel a little bit of weight off my shoulders saying that i feel a little bit relieved that i've come to that conclusion because up until now it's been very like oh i don't know do i don't i whereas now like i feel really secure in my decision that i just don't want to show jump i don't want to you know go out all the effort that goes behind organizing a show prepping for a show traveling to a show you know everything that goes into a show and it's a lot to then also know that i'm 50 50 likely going to get around a course or not it's just in my opinion it just doesn't make me happy that feeling you need to go to a show knowing 100 percent confident your horse is bold and your horse is going to take you around and if you don't have that confidence in your horse you know you're playing the biggest gambling game of your life it really is what i think so yeah i'm just um waiting around because ash is going to be competing um as well a bit later so i'm just going to hang around um and watch her and yeah it's a bit of a gutter but at the same time it's not like oh this is you know new new information to me it's not it's repetitive behavior i've had it in the past so it's not a shock it's just you know it is what it is so i'm now going to go and work on keeping myself positive after today <laughs> smile 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 and um yes i will uh, catch you guys probably in my next vlog so i'm gonna leave it there and thank you so much for tuning into this video it just goes to show like there are always highs and lows with horses one weekend you can win the next weekend you can have a disaster so thanks again for tuning in i will see you guys next time take care bye